Kikamoni here and I am pretty excited back with another food review. I was driving home today and passing Carl's Jr. and lo and behold I see a new poster on the window and what is it for? The Beyond Meat Barbecue Cheeseburger. What? Here it is. Check it out. Now I tried the Beyond Meat tacos at Del Taco and I was not a fan so much. And this is, oh my gosh, you know, I think this is the Western Bacon Cheeseburger with no bacon and the Beyond Meat patty. That's basically what this is. Like we've got cheese, we've got barbecue sauce, we've got um, onion rings, and I need to give the Beyond Meat another try because the taco meat was not really doing it for me. And I know this is really popular and I know a lot of people love it. And I was cool with the um, Impossible Whopper, so I'm excited to give this a try. It's been a long time coming. So, oh my gosh, it made my mouth water just looking at that. Here's what it looks like from the inside. It really looks like meat, right? It looks like a regular beef patty. And I am a huge fan of the Western Bacons, so let's give it a taste. Let's see what it's all about. It's good. Really, more than anything here, I'm just getting like their fantastic barbecue sauce. But let me just take a little piece of the meat. That just tastes like burger. This is great. Um, man. This is really good. Maybe it doesn't taste exactly just like burger. Oh, I got a little charred piece. It's good. I mean, it tastes more like a veggie burger patty to me than the Impossible Burger. That just tasted like burger. And this, um, you can tell it's not quite a regular burger. Or maybe I'm getting more of the onion ring flavor. It's got a solid taste to it, and with the barbecue sauce, it's like, who cares? Meat, not meat. This is delicious. I think you could probably give this to a meat eater and they would not detect it right away, which is a good sign for me that it's like a solid enough burger that um, anyone could eat it and enjoy it. So I am totally pleased with this. The only thing I wasn't really pre pleased with was the price. Super expensive. I mean, it's like $6.99 plus tax. That's a lot for a burger. Any kind of burger. Meat, non-meat. I don't really want to pay that. But I was just so excited. It came out today and I thought, you know what? I've got to get my hands on one of these. And I've got to get the review out to my people. So here it is. I like it. And um, if you're a vegetarian and you're on this uh, Beyond Meat kick or you just prefer to choose this over regular beef, Get out and try it if you've been really missing the um, Western Bacon Cheeseburger because here it is, sans uh, bacon but um, and sans meat too. They've got the fake meat right here for you. If they had Beyond Bacon, that would really be the kicker, but maybe to, uh, to be seen in the future. We'll see. I'm sure they're on it. So, uh, wow. I'm impressed though. It's very good. So, um I'm a fan. Anyway, if you uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. And uh, man, I just can't get over it. I'm kind of blown away by this. It's good. It's better than I thought. So here you go. I'm a fan and uh, I will be trying this again. And I want to try some of the other ones too. I know there's a few different variations out there. I've heard there's also a Beyond Sausage Patty at um, Dunkin Donuts that I'm interested in trying. So that will be a future video coming your way soon too. So stay tuned and uh, as always, more to come. Have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.